Maritime Cup captain, and Caroline Hedwell, one of Sweden's new young talented golfers out on the Ladies European Tour. So girls, you're here today to play the new form of golf, Power Play Golf. How excited are you? Very excited. It's fun with something new, and I think they're always looking for something new to, uh, you know, to go and make golf exciting. And in terms of the, the, the concept is it's a sort of do-and-die form of golf. You go for the top flag or you go for the easy flag. Caroline, is that your general approach to golf anyway? You know, would you say you're more of an attacking player? You'd go for the tough flags to make the low scores? Yeah, I like being aggressive, so uh, yeah, I would say so. So girls, you'll both obviously be looking forward to the Solheim Cup this autumn in, in Ireland. Um, it's been a while since Europe won. What are your feelings? How are we going to regain the cup back this time round? Well, from what I hear, Ali is, uh, you know, on a mission up in Ireland. Um, I think we're going to have a very good team this year with a long, with, you know, with a lot of young players that are very good. I think we have a little bit longer generation gap than the States have. Now, a lot of us that have played for many years, are, you know, no longer when the young players that are coming are really, really good, like Caroline. Absolutely. There seems to be a wealth of young, talented players that are just coming through at the moment. So I'd say the next few years are going to be very exciting to watch on the Solheim Cup in particular, aren't they? Absolutely. Uh, I was just back for three weeks to play and it's, it is extraordinary to see and I, my heart was just so happy to see all these great play, players and, you know, fun girls, you know, great talents and, but above all, the the professionalism that has because I think that's what everybody has been feeling about Europe that's a little bit more laid back it is it is easier because the atmosphere is nice but the golf is so good and how important do you think it will be having Ireland as the host nation knowing how successful Ryder Cups have been in the country in the past do you think the crowd will be that all important fair player for you well I think I think Britain is very nice you know to both teams but uh, from what I hear, Ali has rallied <laughs> for the last six months. Uh, so I think we do, we will have a 13th player, yes. It'll be very exciting stuff. And Caroline, how hopeful are you that you might make the team? Have you got to put in a few good finishes in the run-up? Uh, well, it's more of a dream, I think. I haven't really, it's not a goal for my season, for my season but if I can make it on the team, that would be amazing. Awesome, yeah. Well, as a rookie out on tour this year, you're doing superbly well already, so every hope to you. And in terms of the way that you expect the course to be set up in Ireland, do you think, I mean, there's been a few people saying it might favour the Americans because it's a very long course. What, what are your feelings on Colleen Carson? Well, in general, I think when I was the captain in uh, 2007 in Hamstad, we were the longest team by a mile. So I don't really know, and we set it up quite long, and, you know, unfortunately we weren't as successful as we would have wanted to. And, uh, you know, it's somebody like Caroline that hits it a mile, you know what, I don't really know. It's coming down to putting anyways. And, um, and you know, they are both great ball striking teams. And so I don't really know. I don't really have, you know, we always said, okay, they are better on the short game and, you know, you know wedges, so maybe that's not good. So, you know, I, nothing has really shown to be one or the other, the other thing for advantages for either team. So what one piece of advice would you be giving to Ali in preparation, you know, to, to, to really get that team spirit? Well, I think just, you know, just to have somebody like Caroline that is young, you have a bunch of other young players, you know, just to, I just love to hear that, you know, it's a dream, you know. I, I've never been a very good person with goals because it just seems so definite. You know, dreams, when you, when you reach a dream, you're a little bit more emotional about it. And, and I think that they are very hungry to win. Um, you know, they had enough of all this USA, USA. So I think, uh, you know, particularly if you hear Europe and you see the, you know, blue and yellow European flags, I think it's that's going to take care of itself. Right yes, around. it definitely is. Well, brilliant. Well, thank you very much both for your time. Let's hope Europe is successful this September. Absolutely. And have a great day today. Thank Thanks. you. Thanks.